Hello and welcome to the second video in this series on how to use Google more effectively. Um, I'm going to show some examples. So I'll, I'll have a search for a phrase. The phrase we're going to search for is Chinese melamine. Now at the moment Google will search for web pages that contain the words Chinese or melamine or both of them. So when we click on search we'll get quite a lot of results. Okay we've got um, 3,700,000 results there. Not all of which are what we're interested in. One of the problems is there are a number of different uses of the word melamine. For instance, there is uh, an association with pottery. And there's some nice pots and little, little bits of pot from Amazon. Uh, what we're actually interested in is the chemical melamine. And there's the uh, Wikipedia web page on it. Okay. But what we're really interested in is a problem that happened a few years ago in China uh, where milk was found to be contaminated with melanine. So... There's a lot of results there, and many of them will be relevant. There's some that are very good results. Um, there's a link there to the World Health Organization page on melamine. World Health Organization has some very good websites with lots of good information and statistical data. And food nutrition students should certainly have these pages bookmarked. Okay, so we've got our, um, how many do we have? 3,700,000 results. So let's try to make it a bit more focused what i'm going to do is put this phrase in quotes quotes are one of the most useful things you can do for searching what it means now is it will search for the phrase chinese melamine so that's having a look now now we've gone down to fifteen thousand results um it's still bringing up amazon's link uh, the sponsored link but it's probably a little bit more focused on what we're interested in now okay now what i want to do is find out information for how this affected the uk so as I mentioned in the previous video, in the past you would do something like this. You would have the plus operator, then UK, and then click on OK. And it comes up with 35,300 results. Um, this sort of some, the plus isn't doing anything effectively. So what you can do is just type in UK and see what we get there. And still the same results. So it's not being too bad, actually. Yeah, that's just a word. If it's more than one word, you probably want to put it in quotes. Uh, so we reduced it down to 35,000, which is, is which is pretty good. Uh, but what was actually interesting was an issue with milk that was potentially contaminated with melanine being used in chocolate. So in this case, it needed to be a little bit more sophisticated. Oops. So now we've got two, two phrases in quotes, Chinese melamine, UK chocolate. So we go for a search for that. And this time, we only found five results. Um, which isn't particularly great. There are there's more information out there. What we should perhaps have done was put both of these words in quotes. So now Google is searching for web pages that contain that phrase, contain that word, and contain that word. And now we come up to uh, three thousand seven hundred and fifty results, including white rabbit creamy candy, which uh, has some information in there. Uh, it does link to the melamine scandal. So we'll look, we'll look through to see what what it issues. And it's a particular type of candy uh, made in China. Uh, some information there and some information about the melanin contamination issue. So that's quite that's quite good. Um, okay, I'm going to take that off. Uh, so a Chinese melanin UK. We do a search again. We come up with about 31,000 results. Now some of them will contain information about chocolate. Now just supposing we want to do not have any results about chocolate. We would do it this way. We put a, a, net, a minus sign, and immediately after this, we put the word choc chocolate. Chocolate. Okay, and the minus sign has to be followed immediately by the word when you're trying to exclude a search phrase. That's what we're doing here. We're searching for web pages that contain Chinese melamine, UK, but don't contain the word chocolate. So we'll click on this and see what happens. And now we get about 27,000 results. Uh, if we search through these, they in principle should not contain any you mentioned the word chocolate. Right, that, that's okay, but we, we probably need to be a, bit, a little bit more focused about where, when and where we're searching. We should be searching for information which is reliable, which means in general search terms, probably using government type websites. So what we're going to do is have a look at the UK Food Standards Age and C. Oops. Website. Okay, there's the FSA website. Uh, we click on this. 
and there's lots and lots of useful information on the FSA website. The, the Food Standards Agency, like the European Food Safety Authority, publishes everything. Uh, lots of information on here and should be a regular destination for students, especially if they're interested in issues such as food safety. It does have a search engine. So if we click on melamine, I'll press the button, a little chunk to do itself. Now one thing you'll notice is it's a little bit slow. Uh, it brings up, like a lot of these searches does, a rag bag. And there's no other real way of saying it, of it. Pages in the site that contains the word melamine. Uh, you can search more specifically. You can search by section, if you wish. Uh, you can search by date. And you can add other phrases in the way you would normally use search terms. You can add quotations and pluses. Pluses should work in here, I would think, and minuses. But if we're looking for information on the Food Standards web website, it's probably a better way of doing that. And that's used to use the site search facility. So I'm going to go back to the home page. What we need to do is copy that part. Food.gov.uk. And that's what we're going to use in site search. Nice, okay, so we'll go, we'll go back to the home page. In Google, we're going to enter that search phrase. Site, followed by a colon, followed by the top level of the website. Of the website. You don't want to use further layers in the website you must use the top level the top level of the portal then a space then melamine the word we're interested in now when we click here yeah still you still bring up advertising but all the non-advertising bits you will notice have www.food.gov.uk the food standards agency's website so now we've produced a google search which is only pretty much searching in uh, the food standards agency's website we, we can refine that a little further using the file type option. File type is where you're looking for a particular file, a particular type of file, I beg your pardon. Now, government bodies like the Food Standards Agency publish their reports in PDF form. Um, so if we, if we do a search for this, file type, colon, PDF, so file type, no space, colon, followed by PDF, the type of the file we're searching for, space melanin. We'll find a range of results, all of which are just PDFs. Now, as I mentioned in the other video, you want to be careful about these. Make sure you're opening up a PDF from a responsible website. So we've got uh, food.gov.uk down here, which is the Food Standards Agency website, so that's okay. Some of the others, you are opening up a document directly, so you need to be a little bit careful about that. And the way to get around that is, of course, to use a combination search term like this one. So in this case, we've got file type PDF, site, the Food Standards Agency, looking for melamine. So now when we search for it, we find only PDF documents that have been created by the Food Standards Agency. Uh, they're all perfectly safe, and they'll, and they'll tell you all the information you're interested in. So there's quite a lot of stuff there. So if we... Uh, for example, go through analytical methods. Obviously, one of, one of interest will bring you to a PDF on analytical methods for the detection and quantification of melanin in food and feed. Uh, so that's that. Uh, reasonably short video. Practice yourself. Have a play using the more powerful tools you can use to search Google more effectively. And for my students, we'll be coming back to this in various uh, tutorial sessions. Okay, so thanks for listening. Bye-bye.